Uh, as I mentioned, we are a heavy bulk shipper, bulk trucks and rail cars. Particular issue with bulk trucks. Uh, bulk trucks normally take about two hours to offload. Uh, the chemical places that uh, receive these trucks have very few unloading spots. The timing is very crucial. They, they've got to get into their appointment, get the truck unloaded because there's more stacked up behind them. And more often than not, we had no visibility whatsoever into the shipments mm -hmm. that were delayed. Uh, our way of finding out would be often the angry customer calling saying, where's my truck? And it got to the point where we were just really uh, disgusted, I guess is probably the best word, with daily phone calls from customer care, uh, angry phone calls from the business team. It happened again. The truck didn't show up. We got the call from the customer. We need to know where it is. And we decided we had to do something about it. I mean, when you think about it, we were living in and still are living in the age of Amazon, right? So uh, it just perplexed us to understand why we could have a, an email notification that a package is on our porch, but yet we couldn't understand when a chemical, a uh, shipment of chemicals was being delivered to the customer. Loud and clear, uh, we heard, you know, get us away to find out exactly where that shipment is. Where is the truck located? So we, we knew it had to be uh, proactive. We knew the solution had to not involve human intervention because we'd already experienced uh, the traditional system, which was EDI and the driver inputting the information. We wanted it to be real time. We wanted it to be transparent. And most importantly, we wanted it the, the net to be cast to a, to a wide audience, which included the customers, BASF, of course, and the uh, trucking companies or the carriers. As funny as this seems, I got a spam email in my spam folder from Ben Darren at MacroPoint. And I said, how would you like to track your trucks? How would you like to have visibility into all your shipments? And the light bulb went on. That's exactly what we're looking for. I ran over to David's office. I said, look at this email I got. Uh, we need to call these guys. And, you know, as they say, the rest is history. We set up a call with uh, Ben Darren and, and Dan Sesserchi at Macro Point. Uh, took about 30, 45 minutes. We were extremely pleased with what we heard. It had exactly what we were looking for. Proactive notification via emails, uh, real-time track and trace fantastic graphics that would show breadcrumb trails of where the truck was. We, we got our Christmas present early and it, uh, it, it was exactly what we were looking for. And also the, um, the willingness um, that Dan conveyed even on that first conference call, the willingness to, um, to partner with BASF. It was precedent setting at the time in the chemical industry. A track and trace system did not exist. So BASF uh, had a real opportunity to have a competitive advantage and and Dan basically said that uh, they were willing to collaborate with BASF and be partners with BASF in the design, development, and rollout of the solution. We started out uh, kind of using the 80-20 rule. We wanted to start out slow. We picked a, a fairly large volume carrier that uh, hauls a lot of our chemicals. Uh, went through a proof of concept with them. Uh, everything worked exactly as uh, the macro, uh, macro point team described to us. Uh, from there, we grew to the second carrier, the third carrier. And again, just using that 80-20 rule, by the time uh, we were at, at the one-year mark, we probably had about 70% of the volume that BASF ships in North America on BASF data track. And, and there were bumps along the road, um, no pun intended. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, because of the precedent setting nature, because of the information that was being presented as an opportunity to carriers, um, there was a little bit of uh, uh, resistance in terms of how was the information going to be used, what kind of information was it, who was going to have access to it. Again, I can quickly point to the macro point team who was with us every step of the way, the weekly calls, the onboarding calls with each and every one of the carriers. Um, was always with a representative from Macro Point. So the technical aspects that we weren't able to answer were answered and I think did a lot to alleviate some of the issues or concerns that some of the carriers had early on. And before we knew it, uh, within really about a year and a half of this project, we now have 
nine BASF business groups in North America, probably nine out of the top 10 businesses that use bulk trucks on this system. It's now been assimilated into our bulk command center in New Jersey by the corporate folks. And uh, David and I are finally, after a uh, you know, year and a half to two years, not functioning as a corporate logistics team now. And to be honest, I mentioned uh, that BASF now is uh, hugely satisfied with this product. Our customers are, are tremendously satisfied with it. And each of our carriers now has a portal into their shipments being tracked on Macro Point, And they're happy with it now. So it's been a win, win, win. BASF, customers, trucking companies. Absolutely. Uh, I had mentioned we called it data track for a reason. The data portion of it uh, has been hugely successful. It allows us to analyze in and out times at our shipping locations as well as our customer locations. Uh, we've embarked on, as an example, a demurrage project. Uh, basically to look at where we have an inefficiencies in our loading and delivery processes where we're wasting a truck driver's time. When he's sitting there waiting or, or just waiting on a shipping location or a receiving location to get that truck unloaded or waiting on paperwork, whatever the reason, that's counted against his driving time in the current regulations. And DataTrack has allowed us to take a, a serious look at that. We're also using DataTrack to uh, manage our carriers, which ones we uh, feel are our better carriers versus the lesser performers. Uh, data track gives us uh, actual minute by minute uh, uh, arrival times uh, for our carriers. We're able to accurately, uh, like I said, to the minute, measure uh, which carriers are performing with on-time deliveries and which aren't. And as a result of that, we've, uh, we've awarded business to those superior performing carriers and uh, managed uh, strictly through the data that we're getting from MacroPoint. I think it's also um, important to know that as a predictive basis that we're looking at it uh, not only in terms of capacity but some of the other issues that are uh, haunting the industry in terms of temperature control, in terms of predictive uh, metrics and enhanced reporting even as we go forward. We've even solved issues with uh, occasional out of route driving by drivers. Yeah. Uh, going from point A to point B, data tracks allowed us to see situations where they started driving went up here, took their break, came back down, and then finally made it to the customer three hours late. The word from the terminal was, oh, the driver had to take his break. And DataTrack allowed us to go back to the terminal and say, well, yes, he took his break, but he was three hours out of route mm -hmm. taking that break. So, you know, analytics like that have uh, reduced incidents like that, improved customer satisfaction. My advice would uh, very, uh, very definitely be look no further, select Macro Point. And for a number of reasons. Number one, we had a huge success story with them. We are with a solution now that is above and beyond what we even thought we would have going into this project. And it's all due to Macro Point with the uh, GPS tracking, the analytics, and just the willingness to work with us. And those companies that stay um, in the traditional supply chain, I think are missing a huge opportunity because we're in the age of uh, 4.0. We're in the age of the digital supply network, which is one of the things that we're taking uh, data track as a tool and really as part of the foundation that BASF is going to use as it continues to explore ways to go from the traditional supply chain to more of a, an incorporated real-time transparent digital supply network.